Hi everyone, it's me, Sammy, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I went to Primark recently and spent quite a lot of money on makeup. Like, this is all makeup products. I've just used them all to make this makeup look right here, guys. I tested out some of their new products, some of their old products. I did just a full face of only using Primark makeup. It was impressive, actually, not gonna lie. Some products were a bit, mm, but some of them were so on point, it's crazy. So yeah, if you wanna see how I made this look and also what I used to do it, then just keep on watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's dive into this video. Right, let's see if we can sort this face out. I love the fact that I'm jumping on the headband trend as well. Maybe five years too late, but I'm there. <laughs> this was actually from Primark as well, two pound guys. Actual bargains and they're really pretty ones as well in there. Um, right, first things first, foundation. It's actually quite a few different ones in there. I decided to go for the double coverage matte foundation. It was five pounds, I've got the shade Sand 09 because I don't know, I felt like it matched my neck the best out of the colours that were there. It doesn't have a pump or anything, it is just like a pouring bottle. As long as it doesn't oxidise, I don't think it's too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. That's the only thing with the frosted glass bottles. It's quite hard to colour match and there wasn't any testers for this shade, which was annoying. Um, okay, yeah, it's kind of dark. <laughs> this is not my shade. Definitely needed a lighter shade, but actual foundation quality is decent, guys. Like, I'm liking the finish of it. Oh my gosh, so dark. It's oxidising. Ah! Um, <laughs> really not my shade. Really too dark for me. Um, but... I actually really quite like the coverage of it and how it looks on the skin is actually quite nice. So I will 100% be going back and getting my right shade. <laughs> this would actually be an amazing shade for me in the summer, not gonna lie. That would actually be awesome in the summer. So yeah, that is my foundation done and I'm actually really really impressed with this foundation. For five pounds you get quite a lot of product as well. The only downside is that it is a pore bottle. I hate that because I feel like you waste a lot um, or you like use too much. Um, it also says that it's long wear so I'll be interested to see how long it lasts for but yeah guys I'm actually really impressed. Five pounds not actually a bad foundation at all. Let's see if we can do some damage control on this colour match with concealer, which I'm sure I will be able to. I actually picked up two of their concealers, um, and these are the My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer Medium Coverage. Um, I've got one in the shade Nude 05, and one in the 08 Light Beige, which is this one, this is the nude one. I think I'm gonna use the nude one, because I think I seriously need to lighten this look up. Um, they were two pounds each, which is, really good for a concealer if it works um so yeah let's let's try it and see if it works now this was the lightest shade that my store had um but i still feel like this is kind of dark for a concealer um but let's see I definitely would have preferred a lighter shade but i think they do do lighter shades it's just my store didn't have them um, but, um, it's not a bad concealer, like, you can definitely see it sort of brightened my under eye, it's made it look quite nice underneath my eyes now, but it does seem to be sinking into my dry lines, which I don't really like. We'll have to see how it works with powder once it's set and everything, um, but it's making my under eyes look really nice and bright and it's not breaking up or anything on the end of my nose which can happen sometimes because I've got really dry skin 
Um, it actually <laughs> looks really quite nice and that's two pound. What? Um, let's move on to powder. I really wanted like a loose translucent powder um, but didn't have one. Um, they did have some loose powders but they were in the darker shade so I wouldn't have been able to use them to set my face. Um, I did find this pressed powder which is the My Perfect Colour Foundation Press Powder Buildable Coverage Matte Finish, £2. Um, and it's in the shade Ivory 02. So this is what it looks like inside. It came with like a little sponge and the little plastic cover thing. Um, I'm just going to go in with a brush. Brush. And a stick over. It is looking a little bit dry, but kind of flawless. Like my skin looks really good. How is this even bloody possible? What? Normally on the tip of my nose, that's where my skin will start to peel. I'll start to look like I'm cracking up. Um, and it starts showing normally like once I've put powder on this looks like flawless like it's not showing my dry skin apart from underneath my eyes it's looking a little dry um, my forehead there's no cracking there's no caking it's literally like really quite good two pound that powder I'm impressed <laughs> really quite impressed so far but these next face products is where it can go really really wrong <laughs> um so next i'm going to go in with bronzer and this is their two pound bronze glow matte bronzing powder in the shade sunrise and this is how it looks two pounds it's a very good price for a bronzer if it works um i'm just going to take this brush here I'm going to try using a slightly fluffier brush. That's normally the kind of brush that I would use for my bronzer, but I feel like it might be a bit too dense for this bronzer, so I'm going to go in slightly fluffier brush. But you know what? That's not a bad colour. It just needs a bit of diffusion. Let's try on the other side. Guys, you know what? That bronze is actually really good. Definitely use a more fluffy brush, not such a dense brush with it. Needs a little bit more blending than my usual bronzer. But you can make it work. Um, next, let's go in with blush. Um, so I just picked up uh, one of their cheaper ones and it was just the PS blush high pigment blusher in the shade secrecy and it was £1.50 which again really good prices for like the basic products the bronzer the blusher so I think it's brilliant to like stock up on your basics it's this gorgeous kind of shade just going to take it on a fluffy brush see how pigmented she is Yeah, she's pigmented. That was like the lightest touch. Oh, it's pretty. The softest touch into the product and then the softest, lightest little fanning moment onto the face. Wow. That was really good. Probably one of my favorite products so far, this. That was like effortless and gorgeous like okay Primark coming through with the blushes I might actually have to go back and see if they have any more shades because this was actually really pretty next up for highlighters right I got a single and I got a palette this looks kind of beaten up but it was sealed and everything so 
I'm trusting it, even though it was a bit beaten up. <laughs> um, and I also got a palette, which kind of looks like my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, but obviously that's four shades, this is six. Um, but I actually bought this to sort of maybe do like a comparison video of this with the Glow Kit because um, it's called Glow Getter and it's six luxury highlighter powders. This was six pounds, um, which works out a pound a highlighter, which is a decent price. Um, but yeah, I'm going to save this. I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to save it for sort of a comparison video with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit because I saw it and I was like, that's giving me abh vibes so i was like yes keep that for a comparison video which will be coming really soon um but today i'm going to be using this which is the frosted highlighter um it's two pound fifty it's in the shade frosted that's all it says um and it looks like this and it looks like a really wet look highlighter so i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna pop it on my face Now, that for sure is a blinding highlight um, for £2.50. That is kind of crazy, but I'm not sure how I feel about the amount of glitter in it. It's really quite glittery. I definitely prefer just like my Revolution highlighters um, just because they have that that wet look sheen and blindness to it but without the heavy glitter look. If you don't mind glitter in your highlighters then I definitely feel like you would like this. Um, and yeah it's cute, it's blinding, it's just a bit too glittery for me unfortunately but I love the fact of how blinding it is so that's definitely gets a sort of thumbs up and a thumbs down from me. <laughs> Moving on to brows and they had so many different products. So I actually got like a brow emergency kit, which was £2.50. And um, it comes with a brow pencil, a brow gel, a spoolie and some tweezers, which I just thought I would get to show you guys because I think that's actually such a good little kit. I really do like the Primark brow gel, the clear one. Um, and just having the little spoolie and tweezers and stuff is always good. So I just thought I would get that to show you guys. So it comes with a brow gel, tweezers, little spoolie to brush the brows through. And then it comes with a little brow pencil as well. So if you're looking for like an all rounder kit, the brow emergency kit for £2.50 is actually quite a good little kit. Um, I also picked up Brow Sketch. Um, I got the shade Blonde just because the brown ones looked too dark. Um, yeah, the blonde pencil's a lot more like taupey, which looks really nice sort of in my brows. So I got that little pencil there. I also got a brow gel in brown just to see how that would work because I don't know just like brow gels um and I also got this which is a three-in-one brow precise pencil and powder now the brow gel is a pound the brow pencil the brow sketch was two pounds so this three-in-one was two pound and I got it in the shade taupe so at the top it's got like a teardrop shaped pencil which oh actually that is a good little pencil for brow strokes that's really good and um, it also comes with a powder and it also comes with a little brush so I'm actually going to use the three in one to do my brows today um, and then I'm actually going to set it in place with the brow gel that came in the brow emergency kit. So I'm going to start with the powder. That actually looks really, really nice. Love that. And I'm just going to define it quickly with the pencil.
really really happy with that actually so really liked the three in one brow the two pound one um, in the shade taupe which actually seems to be really good if you like like an ash brown blondy brown that kind of shade so yeah I really really liked this just going to set it in place with the clear brow gel now eyes next and I actually got two eyeshadow palettes um, I got this one which is the PS Amber Passion which is of course the dupes for the Huda Beauty palettes um, so I'm not going to use this one today it was £3 and I'm going to compare it to my £25 Huda Beauty palettes um, very soon in an upcoming video so I just bought it literally to try and compare to one of my Huda Beauty palettes um, and just see how much of a dupe it really is so yeah I got that for an upcoming video um, but for today's video I got their new palette which is the Summer Storm eyeshadow palette the packaging on this is stunning I love the marble inside there is a humongous mirror sorry for blinding you um, but it is a gorgeous neutral palette I'm so excited to create a look with this no idea what kind of look I'm going to go for but we're going to see what we create as we go along um, but yeah I'm going to use this for my eyeshadow I'm going to go in with the shade Gale which is this sort of light brown at the top we're going to go for a neutral eye look obviously with a neutral palette you tend to go for neutral eye looks I mean <laughs> um, we're just going to pack that into the crease Now, the eyeshadows that I've used from Primark before um, tend to not be a problem with pigment. The pigment isn't usually the problem I face with Primark shadows. It's usually the blending. It's the ability to blend them out. So let's see how it goes today. So that is that colour set. It's actually like really, really gorgeous colours to choose from. I'm actually like struggling to decide what I want to do. I sort of want to take this dusty pink colour. So it's got like this dusty pink colour at the bottom. Sort of same colour as my headband <laughs> a little bit. Um, and I want to take that and I want to put that in the centre of my lid. Okay, it's really, really pretty actually. So this palette was £8, it's not a cheap palette um, from Primark like that's quite high up on their price tag end um, wow I am really quite impressed with this eyeshadow palette I mean it takes a little longer to blend than higher end shadows obviously um, it just takes that little bit more work but the pigments there the color payoff is there um, which makes me extremely happy you can come up with so many looks for these kind of palettes because so many of the colors go with each other um, now these three circle ones on the side look kind of foiled um, let's give one a swatch okay okay right they are gorgeous and foiled actually so let's take one on my finger i'm going to take the sort of white cream shade and i'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye not inner corner i'm going to put it on the inner part of my lid whoa that is like stunning oh my gosh come on Primark that's amazing right I'm gonna go back in with the pink shade now and sort of blend that into that frosty shade that is gorgeous I actually want to see if it will pick up on a sort of small dense brush 
so I can be more accurate with it. It's not performing as well as it did on my finger um, on a brush, but you can definitely place it if you want to get a bit more accuracy. A small, denser brush will definitely place this for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love it. Right, I'm going to go in with the dusty pink again. I'm going to put this underneath my lower lash line. And then again, going in with the darker shade from the top that I used on my outer corner. I'm just going to smoke that into my outer corner. Oh my gosh. I am so impressed with this palette um the foiled ones look great we've got some shimmers in there as well like this for eight pounds i'm kind of blown away by it not gonna lie guys like i'm actually really quite impressed with the quality of these and yeah i am happy with this <laughs> right now to complete my eye look I did get a liquid liner, but now I sort of don't want to use a liquid liner. I have used Primark's liquid liners before though, they're great, they're a pound, has quite a fine nib on the tip of it, it's a hard nib though, not a brush nib, um, but yeah, really good black solid liner, so yeah. Also a really good one for a pound is the Makeup Gallery one that actually has a brush. I do prefer that one rather than the hard nib, but this is still a really good liner. Um, and if you prefer to work with a nib than a brush, then this is definitely the one that you want to grab. Now for mascara, I was going to get the full slash queen one, but I've already used it and I thought it was pants. I really didn't like it. The pink one, um, just thought it was not great. So what I've got today is the Billion Dollar Lashes. It's another one of their three pound mascaras. It says high impact volume and curl. 100% said it gives instant volume. Dual sided, it's a dual sided rubber brush to plump and volumize lashes, 16 plus hour wear. Um, let's see what this does to my eyelashes. This is the packaging, feels very, kind of luxe actually for Primark. It feels kind of chunky, kind of solid. Um, this is kind of intimidating. What is that? That is a scary ass brush. Um, let's see how this works. Okay, whoa. One coat, no coats. Kind of crazy. Um, it it's definitely giving volume and length um, but I'm not able to separate my lashes like they're getting really quite clumpy um, and I don't mind clumpy lashes but I like to have a bit more control over dividing the clumps and I'll just poke myself in the eye with it ow is there anything more painful than stabbing yourself in the eye with a mascara? <laughs> yeah, I'm all about a clumpy lash. Love it, actually. But um, I like to be able to still separate it and build it up. Right, so it took a little bit of work for me to get them to look how I wanted them to. But a £3 mascara that's done that to my lashes, like, wow. Like, it's so so good um i much prefer this to the three pound one that i used the other day it was like in a pink packaging i think it's called full slash queen i didn't rate that at all it literally did nothing for my lashes no volume no length literally just painted them black this is phenomenal like it's made them so voluminous and um, i did have to work quite hard with the brush um to sort of get it to where i wanted it to go but if you take an extra two minutes, like, you'll get the lashes that you want. And for £3, guys, this mascara is awesome. Like, I much prefer this to the one from Primark I used the other day, 100%.
definitely worth giving this a go guys if you like voluminous lashes i'm literally going to set my face and then we are going to go in with lips because I always do that after I've set my face. Now, this is the Hydrate Setting Spray infused with rose water, hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Four pounds this was. So let's have a see how it goes. Oh, that was, oh, what does that taste like? don't eat it it's not tasty it smells good though so that is the setting spray it's definitely given me a bit more of a illuminosity <laughs> is that even a word illuminosity probably not it's made me a lot more dewy I like it Um, not sure how well it's gonna set my makeup in place but we'll soon see <laughs> now moving on to lips got so many products and I was really wanting to do like a really cool, vibrant lip, but I do also really just want to try out their nudes. So I got three products from their new collection with the marble. Um, I did want to get more. This is literally all they had in my store left. I don't know if it's just sold out or whether they just didn't stock much. We've got a matte lipstick in the shade Tropical which is actually this really gorgeous pink. Let's swatch it. It's really gorgeous sort of corally pink, which is really pretty. Um, it probably would go with this look, but again, I want to test their nudes. So that's that. And then I also got two of their shimmer lip glazes. The lipstick was two pound and so are the lip glazes. This one is in the shade Flash. So it's like a gloss, but like a shimmery, shimmery gloss. Very, very pretty. So that's in the shade Flash. And then this one is in the shade Haze. And it's just like a lighter pink. Oh, this one's a lot more pigmented. This one's not as sheer as this one. Flash is definitely something that I could wear on a daily basis. This would have to be like a little moment all by itself <laughs> um but yeah they're really cute really cute glosses um for the new collection and last but not least i picked up four of their one pound 50 nude lipsticks um and also a lip liner in the shade toast because jordan lipscomb always always wears this and i love her lip looks that she does um so of course i wanted to go out and buy it <laughs> So this is the lip liner in the shade Toast, just a really gorgeous burnt nude, so I'm going to pop that on in a second with one of these lipsticks. Let's give them all a swatch and see which one I want to try. So I actually feel like this is their old bullet packaging and I feel like this is their new um, matte lipstick packaging that's just come out. Um, but let's swatch them all. So this is Naked Flame, so that's Naked Flame there really cute nude and um, we've got vintage rose which I mean oh that deeper nude is gorgeous love that kind of dusty rose color and um, then we've got naked which is almost like when you want foundation lips love that um, and this one is a thrill seeker which looks gorgeous oh yes love that one that's what i'm gonna wear today i think thrill seeker stunning so i'm just gonna pop on thrill seeker and the lip liner in the shade toast oh, i love this lip liner so much it's a pound oh then going in with thrill seeker and that is it guys, that is my full face of Primark makeup done. I'm actually so, so happy with how this makeup look turned out. Like, 
what this is all Primark makeup that's madness to me and um, but yeah actually really really happy with how the look came out let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below what was your favorite product that I picked up from Primark guys and yeah guys if you like this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below to see more from me really really soon and yeah hopefully I will see you in my next video take care guys bye <laughs>